So it's like a Texas district attorney's office has dismissed charges against a Philadelphia woman wrongfully arrested for a robbery. They acknowledged she didn't commit. So the PhD student was held in custody for a week, even though she and her family could not prove, could not only prove she was innocent of a crime, but she had never traveled to the Longstar state in her life. She was released on, you know, with her family on Wednesday, January the 11th, the nightmare for the sister started January the 5th when Julie Hudson had applied for a job and was informed that she had an outstanding warrant in her name. He said she was shocked to find out she had any type of criminal record and saying, realize she was being turned down for multiple jobs because of this blemish. He said, everyone is sure that you did something, that you're a criminal, but you know, that's not who you are. She's a 31 year old figure. She would go to Philadelphia police, 14 district in Germantown to clear up a discrepancy and continue on her employment quest. Wrong, 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 wrong. You should have got with a lawyer, told a lawyer and then let the, you and the lawyer go to handle that issue. However, that was not the case. According to her sister, Sharon Hudson, Julie Hudson was arrested for a petty robbery. She believes she had committed, they believe she be committed in Webster, Texas. Okay. It's in the Houston area, actually. In May, 2022, they said, Sharon Hudson uh, said that my sister went in there like, Hey, what's going on? We need to fix the situation. What do we need to do? And say, what do you need me to give you? It said at that point, it said, Phil, they was like, we have to arrest you because Texas has warrants out on you. He said, she has never been in the state of Texas. He said, a sister added to give context, how bizarre the arrest seems for a family. Said, Julie has caught a plane. Uh, has, she hasn't caught a plane in many years. Said, Hudson uh, was immediately taken to custody and placed in Philadelphia jail. It said on state road near Holmes, a uh, city of uh, section of the city. It said a family reached out to Texas police to inform they had the wrong person. The Harris County district attorney's office in Texas filed a motion on Tuesday, January 10th to drop the charges against the graduate student. Uh, citing insufficient evidence insufficient evidence. She didn't do it. My God, man, it's Harris County. Jesus Christ. After law enforcement, did they do diligence discovering that Hudson was at work in Philadelphia and a robbery happened in suburban Houston, Webster, Texas. Uh, police admitted she is not the woman they are seeking. The person they are looking for is seen in a screenshot from a surveillance camera. While the suspect was black and female, the person was not the doctoral student. It's a representative and say for the Harris County district attorney's office wrote in a statement say we accept uh, charges based on sworn evidence presented to us by law enforcement. Tuesday, Webster police notified the court of the error and said, we dismissed the case within five minutes and immediately contacted Philadelphia police to release our hold on Miss Hudson. It said police believe the person who's actually a suspect has a similar name uh, to the Philadelphia. It said Jeremy Ledge, assistant chief of the Webster police department said that we are able and said to detain one of the people match uh, one of the suspects in the video, she agreed to the, an interview and say brought her back. And in the interview, she identified the other person as her sister by the name of Julie Hudson and say the detectives investigating the case canvas social media and found one of Julie Hudson's photos on Instagram that in the, their opinion seemed close enough resemblance to the suspect in the surveillance video to pin the crime on her and issue a warrant. Wow. So you just looking on social media Instead of trying to actually find the person who did it. Oh my God. Really? Now say the Western police chief said, you know, he released paperwork uh, to PPD on Tuesday, but despite the charge being dropped, the Philadelphia police uh, did not begin to act uh, to release Hudson until the next day when reporters inquired about the jail woman. Uh, they said that the police in Philadelphia became aware of the warrant being dismissed on one 11, 23, approximately 5 PM after receiving a media inquiry. And at that time we, re we immediately requested that Ms. Hudson be released from custody and actually working with Philadelphia department of prisons to process her release in as expeditious a manner as possible. Now her sister called the scenario tragic. It says not only impacted Julie, but the entire family is that you presume innocent to proven guilty. In this case, I'm learning is pretty much you're guilty into proving yourself innocent. Yeah. For black people. Yeah. That's been our, a story. We are guilty to prove innocence. Say though the woman was released is their family says her record is still not clean and their loved one is suffering personal damages throughout the experience. Additionally, the family is considered legal action. Yes, definitely sued, particularly because she was incarcerated without her medicine for almost a week. Oh God. Is it Hudson is glad she is freed, but said when you know that you didn't do anything wrong, is it makes you feel crazy. It says Sharon credits public outcry, specifically in the media for her sister being free saying if it had not been for the media and the press, nobody would have known uh, the, the taking the time 
to do what they did today. Um, the district attorney is a in uh, Philadelphia uh, said he, he thanked the media for, you know, putting it out there, but it's the thing you matching black people off of social media photos, black people going to jail. Remember at last, I think on the YouTube short on my channel, I covered a story where a brother was arrested in Atlanta for a theft in Louisiana. Brother said, I've never been to Louisiana a day in my life. I've I never been there. How can I come into crime in a place I've never been? And they matched him off of this, you know, uh, AI stuff. Like I said, man, so, so the new racism is going to be like, say, AI and all the stuff like that. Just matching. Oh, yep, they look similar. So let me go ahead and pick them up. Wow. Didn't even know who the person was just off of a picture. No, 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 like, hey, let me ask you, where were you? Where were you at this day and time? Were you there? Like, investigate, ask questions. Hey, where were you at the time of da 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 da? Well, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what happened to that? We just looking at pictures and picking people up now? I'm telling y'all, black folk, this place is getting worse and worse for us, man. Worse and worse. But let me know what you think about this story, ladies and gentlemen. If you're first time here, make sure you click the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.